morning. My hair is literally insane, so there's that. Have to get ready quickly. Look at this. <laughs> I had it up in a little bun, so that's why it looks that way, but it's just like, what is happening? Okay. So I'm just gonna put it up in a little bun for right now. Might even leave it that way, I don't know. I'm getting ready for a staff meeting. Welcome to the vlog if you're new here. <laughs> subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with some fun videos. Um, I am getting ready really quickly. If you are new, my name is Rose. I am a worship and tech pastor. My husband and I work together. His name's Manny. We work um, together in the worship and tech world um, at a church in Texas. So I'm getting ready right now for a staff meeting. I'm going to do like minimal makeup because I literally do not have much time. We were at the gym a little longer today than normal and I'm like, I feel like I'm in a hurry. Plus I just kind of move slow in the morning. So I hate rushing to get ready. I love to have a good amount of time. It's a hard workout this morning. I was like completely exhausted i think today was the first time since we started working out regularly again and this is actually the most regular that i've ever been with workouts like the most intense i've ever been probably not probably it is never done like weights like this and stuff but anyway this was like the only the first time i've had like actually sit down <laughs> um for a second like mid workout i upped my um today was upper body day so i upped my deadlift by literally by 10 pounds that was it like a total of 10 pounds doesn't seem like much right but it was like it was rough I was struggling it was rough in a good way though like I knew I needed to push a little bit more and thankfully I have Manny he's a personal trainer as well um so he's like knows when to push me and stuff so he told me that I needed to up it a little bit it had been a while I just kind of get in my comfort zone and like I do really you know I start doing well and like I don't want to up it because I, I struggle again and that sounds so dumb but like I just feel so good when I'm doing well you know but I can't just stay on the same weight forever so he always pushes me with that but anyway I um upped my weight just literally by five pounds was, or ten pounds is five pounds on each side and the first time I lifted it I was like oh it's not bad you know I didn't really feel any different and then when I kept going, I could totally tell the difference, but I feel amazing. It just makes me feel so good. I've lost um, a decent amount of weight, I said, in another. I mean, you know, like that's, it depends on who you're asking, I guess. You know, it's not really that much, but um, I said in another video, so I've already said this, that when I started this, I was 157, which was the most I'd ever weighed, like, in high school. And even, Manny and I got married really young, clearly, so... Um, I'm 24 right now and we got married when I was 20, got engaged when I was 19. So when we got married, I was 125. So it was the most I ever weighed, um, I got 157. So I said in another vlog, like not that, that, that you should feel bad if you weigh that because that's like completely like it's, it's person to person. So I wasn't unhealthy. I was still at like a healthy weight and everything for my height. Um, and I don't know, I carry weight kind of differently. I feel like I, I don't know but um I wasn't unhealthy or anything I was just like kind of uncomfortable with where I was and I knew that I could do better with my workouts and like that so I started um around February like right before lockdown which I worked out at home during the whole lockdown thing um but yeah we started then and so anyway um I was 157 when we started and I'm 145 today so it's pretty good I mean honestly only started losing weight not that long ago for a while I was kind of at a standstill and um again like during lockdown like I wasn't you know obviously doing as much as I can do at the gym we don't have much at home that I can work with so I was just trying but I wasn't like you know doing that much so in a pretty short span of time I lost that weight um and like the more I'm losing the more it's like it seems like it's faster each time. I don't know if that makes sense, but like it's like now every time I weigh myself, it seems to be a little less. And I know that obviously some of it was like water weight and everything, but 
This sponge is also not wet because I like didn't have the time to wet it. I'm not even kidding. I'm just using this dry sponge. So anyway, we have staff meeting at the coffee shop today. I'm excited to get some coffee. This is gonna be like a super quick makeup look because I'm just trying to throw some on. Get going on the day. I'm like tired today. I don't know. It's been like a few days of just dragging myself around. Yesterday was Sunday. I put on my story. I took a nap yesterday. I put on my Instagram story. I haven't been napping and I used to always take Sunday naps. Like I said on Instagram, my Sunday naps after leading worship. I know I have some worship leaders that are subscribed and let me know if you agree because Sunday naps after leading worship are it like they are just the best nap that you could ever have i had <laughs> something about those sunday naps and i haven't had one in a while just because i don't know i've just been honestly like doing things all the time you know there's like things to get done and i don't know i might talk about this on the podcast today because i have like an issue like where i i feel like i have to be productive like all the time and so i'm trying to ease up on that a little bit but Oh, this morning, I'm really excited about this. Um, it's going to be this morning for us. It's, it's going to be evening there, but there's this radio station in the UK that is featuring me as artist of the week. The, the station is called UCB. So that's UCB. Like when I say it fast, you can't like tell what I'm saying, but it's um, UCB radio. And so if you have... Um, some time you could actually listen to it they've been playing our song just one touch on there for the month of july they, they'd been playing it and then they decided to feature me for artist of the uh of the week which was super exciting so what i did i actually recorded some um like interview style things like she she told me what questions she wanted answered and so i kind of recorded them and um sent them to her um and so the the girl that works there she's really really nice like she's just super nice i really enjoyed working with her um and so yeah i'm really excited about it and so shout out to chloe for that because she was just super super nice but um anyway they're going to be featuring me as artist of the week so at 11:45 in the morning central time okay because they're in england or they're in the uk so i'm gonna say england because that's where Mandy's from but they're in the uk so it's a um you know a different time there'll be 5 45 p.m there but it's 11 45 central time um so it would be yeah, obviously an hour later eastern just depending on what time you're on they're gonna do like the feature part which is where they play the interview um parts uh, it's a different question every day that i'm answering for the week kind of just about me and just different things like that. They were pretty good questions and they were really good questions and I'm really excited about um, them featuring that. So I know my family's gonna try to listen. If I'm out of the meeting in time, I'm gonna listen. Obviously I already heard it, but it's just fun to hear it on there um, and kind of hear if they if they say anything or what, you know, it's just fun to hear it. And then they're playing the song after the feature every time. So um super big honor they're like a really cool radio station there and like it's it's a really a really big honor my mom's texting me so yeah i'm very excited about that and just feel very very honored so huge thank you to ucb radio because that just really um made us so happy and um just a really big like i said a really big honor and so yeah, I'll be artist of the week. I think they might um, put it on their social media and stuff. So if you guys get a chance and you wanted to hear what I had to say, you can listen. I know if you have like an Amazon Echo, um, you can actually like play it through that too. So all we do to do that is just say like her name, you know, Alexa. I know so I'm going to get yours started if I say it, but say her name and then say play UCB2 on TuneIn Radio. And she plays it. You can play it anytime because the song just plays randomly throughout this month. And hopefully after too. I'm hoping maybe they'll keep it on. But I totally understand if not. But I of course hope so. Um, and then uh, you can also just go to their website. But it's UCB2. They have one and two. It's on two. So if you guys want to listen during the interview parts. Um, or if you just want to listen in general. They have a great radio station. So don't just listen for me. But you know. They have a lot of really great songs. I know good radio stations honestly can kind of be hard to find. Like that aren't like too repetitive and are, you know, that will actually feature like 
I know from being an, an artist that obviously is not like super popular or anything, it can be really hard to find radio stations that will um, pick it up because like if you're not super well known, they just kind of feel like, well, you know, nobody's going to want to hear that. So I like to listen to people who do take the time to feature artists who maybe are trying to get their start in that area. Obviously, like I've been leading worship and stuff my whole life, but obviously I've not been on radio, you know what I mean? So um, it's just, it's a different, it's a different world. So <laughs> it's very difficult um, to get on radio. And so I just really appreciate, you know, uh, people like UCB who actually like pick it up and actually care and uh, like doing the feature like they don't have to do that you know what I mean like it's not like it's really going to benefit them in any way to do that so I don't know it just really means a lot and I think it's just a really um big blessing and big honor to be featured on a station where they could feature a lot of other people you know that are more well known so okay we're walking in just walking we're walking into the meeting right now I feel like I had to rush to get here and I really didn't but I feel like I'm in a rush today. I'm just like in that mindset. I need to calm down. But yeah, we're just gonna use our phones today, Manny. Do you mean? Do oral, huh? So we were in the meeting for a little bit longer than I thought we would be, which is fine. I mean, obviously that's our job, but um, we ended up we um, recorded on our on Manny's phone the uh ucb like playing me like they announced me as artist of the week and then played um my little interview part and then the song so this is gonna be happening all week I, it's like five was there five questions manny do you remember i answered the questions i don't even remember how many there were <laughs> was it five questions okay so it was like five questions that i answered so it would be for this whole like work week basically um and so anyway i can listen all the rest of the days but our internet there cut out, so I didn't get here the very end. Obviously, I know what I said. You know, I have <laughs> and done it. Signed the recording, so I'm a huge deal. But I heard her set it up. I heard Manny's like in a donut bag while I'm trying to do this. But I heard Chloe set it up and then um, started mine. So I'll insert like a little clip of that just for like the memory of it. But I will be listening every day this week too. And I know my mom wants to listen. She wasn't able to listen today because her internet too was messing up. So. Um, we thankfully did get to hear, like, we recorded, like, the, I don't think she really said anything after other than she, like, set up because they played our song. So, she, um, just kind of said, like, you know, here's the song or whatever. So, that was really nice of them and I'm really, like I said, super thankful for that. So, it's just fun to hear it even though, like, I know exactly what I said because I said it, but it's just fun to, like, hear it on there. So, like I said, check out UCB uh, Radio. It's UCB2, ucb.co.uk. You can have your Amazon um, Echo do it, like I said earlier. So it's really, really cool. But um, I'll go ahead. I'll play that little clip that I got just kind of for the memory of it. It's fun. And that brings the time nicely to 5.45. So it's time for us to find out who our Artist of the Week is. Do you know? I don't know. Well, I do. Should we find out? Go on then. Hi, I'm Rose Wuku. I am from America. I was born and raised in a tiny town in Indiana. I've been married for four years to my absolute best friend. His name is Manny, and he's actually from England. He moved to America on a football scholarship. Well, we call it soccer in the States, but after being married to Manny, I know better than to say that it is football. <laughs> and so really, God just brought us together, and I'm so thankful for that. I'm 24 years old, and my husband and I are full-time worship and tech pastors based in Texas. I started leading worship full-time when I was 16 years old, and it has been the most rewarding job, and I'm just so thankful for it. I love it so much. I'm also a YouTuber with two channels. One is called Really Rose, and the other is just my name, Rose Owuku. And I have a podcast called What's Your Real Job? I love all things creative, whether it's makeup or music. I just love creativity. So anyway, um, we just got home from the meeting. It is 12.43. So every day, like I said, it plays at 11.45 uh, Central Standard Time. So that's like, obviously it's evening time in England or in the UK. I would say England, like I said, because Manny's from England. So when I hear UK, I just like England is one thing that comes to my mind. Um, but anyway, so I need to call my mom. Let me FaceTime her and kind of see 
what she's up to today. Hmm. Maybe she went to the bank. She's ignoring me. Okay. I really need to like do something with my hair. It's, I've been on the couch and it was like getting all messed up. But anyway, we're just doing some social media stuff. Sent off the set for the weekend, for this coming weekend. I'll tell you what that is here in just a second. In case anybody's curious or for my worship leader friends out there, you might want to know. You know, that can be helpful sometimes to hear what other people are doing. We're wanting to introduce... Um, the blood it's a song that dante Bo and uh naomi your name is naomi rain right manny naomi rain she's there it's an amazing song i want to introduce that one soon but um this week we are doing we use planning center just in case you were wondering planning center i've talked about it in so many like worship related videos it is like all i will use <laughs> i mean obviously if i was at a place to use something else which i have before I was at a church one time that switched over to a different uh, system. Just wasn't it. Like, Planning Center is so good to me. I just, like, there's nothing better. I will, like, always say that. But this week we're doing Sea of Victory. That's our opener. Which, sometimes we open with, like, huge, big openers. Like, this past weekend, we opened with Glorious Day. Which is, obviously, it's a pretty, pretty high-energy song but see the victory is kind of like in the middle but yet it's really like a powerful song so it's kind of like a declaration kind of song so if i'm not going to open with like super fast i'll try to open with something that's at least like a declaration song obviously i generally don't open with like chill stuff although i've seen churches do that victory church does that a lot i've noticed and it's like amazing so it just depends on your vibe and sometimes i um i my favorite is like the slower stuff so that's just me i love to jump around but i do that no matter what kind of song it is like literally that's just how i worship um i am set free is our second song i'm leading that with somebody and then um our father is the last song so we do three songs uh, we have a certain allotted time and um so three songs is about what i figured out that the way that i can the way that i lead that's about what i can do in that in the time frame that we have um, and so anyway, I could do four. I can do as many as I can fit in that time. I can do four if I add one on that's like not very long, but I don't like for sets to seem like really, I mean, obviously you have to have some structure. You have to like obviously have a plan and we do, but I don't like for it to seem super structured and laid out almost like a concert where it's like this song ends that, you know what I mean? Like really just, I like to flow a little bit, a little bit spontaneous. That's my favorite style. I think that that's, um, just my favorite you know way to worship i mean you can worship to anything but that's just how i lead so i do three to give us some time in between songs to where it doesn't seem rushed and we can just kind of bask in the presence of god and not feel like okay because it's a really bad feeling if you lead worship when you're like in the middle of a song and your time your allotted time if you have that which i know a lot of places do is coming to an end and then you're just like especially if it's a really strict place which here i mean i could probably go over and like and be one and be okay but i know some places like that's not possible i know some places you're working with like other campuses i've done that before to where you all have to be on the same time so that can be really hard so you're better off to give yourself some extra time than to cut it close because that's very very stressful and can be like it can it can be rough that workout this morning i am telling you guys my hair is i gotta get ready in a second because i'm gonna take a picture for something that i need to i need to post um but i that workout this morning i told you guys i'm like it about whipped me so i'm i think that's why i'm so hungry sometimes when i work out a little bit harder i just get like extremely like hungry hungry like can hardly stand it so i'm just gonna have a little snack it's not really a snack, but little um, bagel thin with uh, with tuna on it. Okay. Got ready a little bit because I have to do a picture real quick. I'll actually show you guys what I'm wearing today. It's like just a t-shirt with some jeans, but I'll show you. I think it might be a men's t-shirt. It's from my H&M haul that I did recently. Kind of feels like a men's shirt, but I love men's shirts. I just like, I love big shirts and women's are always like, a lot of the time they're too fitted for me. It's okay sometimes, but I'm gonna show you if I can. Cat's having some water over here. It's just this t-shirt um, with these jeans. These jeans actually barely fit me for a while, and now I've lost some weight, so they 
they fit really good actually they're a little bit loose but they fit really good they're like skinny jeans which i honestly don't wear much anymore i normally wear bigger jeans now but these are skinny jeans with my little cheetah um if you can see my little like leopard or cheetah i don't really know which one it is these little booties i like this outfit it's comfortable and I like the way it looks i'm gonna walk over here this grass is actually getting kind of long i'm gonna walk over here i hate doing this scared of snakes but haven't seen one at our house so let's just keep praying that that stays that way I have like an idea for this picture that I want to take I'm like walking around trying to figure out how it's gonna work <laughs> my little buddy might have a little bit of my dressing oh that's a good idea I'll have my good dressing Whatever that is. Avocado lime or whatever it's called. Here it is. Okay, I'm having some dinner. I'm gonna have it's kind of dark in here. This house is like so dark. Um but this camera like brightens it up so much. But anyway, it's um this bitten dressing, the creamy lime avocado dressing. Really good. Um I got it actually in Influencer. Was this an Influencer? Yeah. yeah. It, it was. No. Yeah, it was Influencer. I got the coupon for it and pinch me, but this was an Influencer. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I got it in an Influencer box recently. Um, I've had these before that I just got like coupons for and other like uh, these different like pinch me the sample box services. I'm trying to get them out. The only thing I don't like about it, and I said this in the review that I left an Influencer. All of these taste so good, but the only thing I don't like is the way that the bottle is because you can't squeeze it. So like right now I'm waiting for it to come out. It's just, I don't know, it's like fancier looking, which is probably what they were going for. And it's better, I'm sure, for like the environment and everything. Um, so that might be why as well, but it takes a while for it to come out when it's cold. So let me see if I can get this out because it's like a glass bottle. It's like definitely more fancy than anything that I normally use. But it tastes so good. I ha actually haven't had it on salad yet. Here we go. But um, I had it with cucumbers and it was really good. We're going to go sit on the couch. Made a little man and made me a little dinner. It was nice. So you made me a little dinner and it was nice of you. So I'm going to eat. So it's um, later at night. Uh, not really late but honestly it's close to my bedtime it's about almost nine which I try to go to bed a little bit earlier because um we get up at 5 30 for the gym so it's like i've just been dragging at the gym to be honest i've been really really tired so i'm gonna try to get up a little bit um earlier so or not get up earlier go to bed earlier <laughs> I'm actually going to go in our closet, in my closet right now, um, and record my podcast for tomorrow because sometimes I record it the day of and I actually had planned on doing that this week. Originally I was going to do it Monday and then today I just got pretty full so I decided I was going to do it tomorrow. We're actually going to be out of town tomorrow um, and I like I knew that but it just like, didn't occur to me that I wouldn't really be able to record the podcast. I might but it may end up being later and then I actually have a Zoom meeting tomorrow night as long as we're back in, in town like in time I mean you can obviously do zoom from anywhere but we'll be traveling so I don't know how um, good that'll be but anyway so I um, am just gonna pull this up and just do one now I'm sitting in the closet literally like about to record this if you don't know I record in the closet because it's like better sound quality but when I shut the door in here the light goes off because that's just how our closets work I'm gonna shut the door it's like completely <laughs> dark so i can't really record myself doing this but check out my podcast it'll be linked below i post one every tuesday and i will also do one randomly if you know i decide to but i'm like dedicated to every tuesday right now okay it's the next day we're listening to ucb right now and um they just said that i'm the artist of the week and that i'm next to my name so i messed that on the camera but they said yeah that i'm in five minutes so it's 11 40 five minutes there is gonna be arts of the week my mom gets to hear it today <laughs> I'm <the> brick, buddy. <laughs> 
so great to be able to celebrate that truth that our God is a God who saves. Well, it is 5.45. Welcome along to the show. If you've just tuned in, it's time for us to have a catch up with our artist of the week. She's the wonderful Rosa Wuku. And today she's going to talk you through her journey of faith. I met Jesus at a very young age. As a child, I went through some traumatic events and my grandparents at the time ended up adopting me and they fully raised me and they're my mom and dad. They brought me to church as a kid and all of the trauma and fear that I carried was overwhelmed with peace in the presence of God. When I was only about six years old, I told my mom that I wanted to accept Jesus into my heart. So right there in our home, it's just one of my favorite memories, right there in our home, I accepted Jesus and it is the greatest decision that I've ever made. I've always loved that God is able to reveal himself and his goodness to you no matter your age. Whether you're saved at a young age like me or maybe later in life, it is so worth it. Amen to that. Our artist of the week, it's Rose Owoku. She's written this absolutely gorgeous song. It's called Just One Touch. I hope you enjoy it. She'll be back tomorrow at 5.45, so don't forget to tune in. Thank you, Chloe. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> and now they're playing the song. I appreciate it so much. I love that song. I know it's been very popular when we've taken song requests. Rosa Wuku and Just One Touch. Hey, speaking of song requests, the worship hour is on the way from six till seven. And I will be Manny? taking your request this evening. That's terrible. So how do you think? <laughs> you wrote some of it. Manny wrote the part. You split the scene too. For the worship hour. It's Chloe at UCB. What other part did you write? Don't tell anyone. I'm saying you split the scene too so I can stand by you. Yeah, you split the scene too. Well, that part, I mean. Three words. Hero, or you put it. <laughs> Hero, you That's five words. split the scene too, so I can stand by you. Yeah, you tried to tell me, you, you tried to that. give me credit only for five words. That's so good. So good. Newsboys in the Cross has the final word, bringing us nicely to 5.45, so it's time for us to catch up with our Artist of the Week. She is the wonderful Rose Owuku, a brand new artist to the UCB2 family, but we're so glad that she is part of this family because that's what we are. Today, Rose is gonna talk you through how she got into music. As a kid, I was a little different from my friends and wasn't into all the sports. In other words, I was horrible and not athletic at all. So when I was six, I picked up a guitar. I'd always loved music. My parents and I always sang songs together, and it was always something that calmed me down through the years when I dealt with, you know, a lot of anxiety as a child. So I started taking guitar lessons at age six, and then keyboard and vocal lessons around age nine, and immediately I knew, like, this is my passion. I wrote my first song at age six and actually won a competition with it. I have no idea how that happened. It's a pretty funny song, but it certainly made my six-year-old self very happy. It was also around that time that I knew I wanted to lead worship. I walked into church with my parents one day and looked at the stage where the worship leader was, and I said, I am going to do that someday. I'd even written in notebooks over the years that I love to look back on, and I just wrote that I would be a worship leader. I really believe, you know, that God breathed that vision into me, and he's been so faithful to open doors for me. I could never, ever deserve it, but I am just so thankful. I mean, six years old, and she's writing her first song. That's absolutely incredible. I mean, I don't know about you, but that's definitely one talented lady. And then knowing that she wanted to be a worship leader as well... I'll tell you what, God really has used this lady. She's wonderful. And now she's writing songs like this. It's called Just One Touch. It's Rosa Wuku. You walked into the room. We'll catch up with Rosa Wuku tomorrow after 5.45 where she'll be sharing the story behind that beautiful song. Well, Christine's been in touch. Five words. I had a pimple in a while. You told me today my skin looked good. Here I am with the crater. Your pimple looks like it's taken off your face. Oh my goodness. You need to go see a dermatologist. Oh my gosh.
That anyway, is, Manny, that be quiet. <laughs> Anyway, we are going to end this vlog. Thank you for joining us. Man, I knew you were doing that. I wasn't even looking. Go get me some carrots. Heard. You're like... You anyway, know. thank you for watching. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Manny.